In the previous video lessons, we discussed a lot about the algebraic expression and also about the verbal expressions. And as I told you, that we're gonna try to learn to convert verbal expression into algebraic expressions. All right. And I'm beginning this with very simple examples. Twelve subtracted from Jed. Here we have a number twelve and uh, uh, another uh, number, or you can say variable Jed. So twelve is subtracted from from Jed. Okay, subtraction. This is the uh, mathematical operation for that, and this means 12 subtracted from Z. Okay, so from Z, we need to Z or G. How do you pronounce? We we pronounce here like a Z. Okay, so G. I think you pronounce like G. So G subtracted 12. Okay, so 12 subtracted from G. Okay, now 8 more than a number. Okay, so more than that means addition, right? More means addition. So this represents this mathematical operation so 8 more than a number n so our number is here n and how much more 8 more okay so this is how I'm converting verbal thing into the algebraic form okay now P multiplied by 9 this is pretty simple so P is multiplied by 9 you can also write now like this uh, let me go even step by step okay P and then you can write dot 9 and further you can write 9 P together m divided by 5 so divided this is the symbol so m divided by 8 which can also be written like m divided by 8 all right minus 7 multiplied by m okay so we have a number here m and multiplied means this okay multiplied by m which further you can write minus 7 dot m or you can write as minus 7 m all right now now here is something very interesting uh, the difference of 7 and 4 times a number so difference remember my friend that means subtraction alright and times always represents multiplication okay so uh, the subtraction of 7 and 4 times a number okay so 4 times a number is 4 times x which you can also write as a 4 times x like this or or you can also write like this 4x okay so the difference of 7 and 4 times a number so simply now difference means subtraction as I told you so our answer is going to be 7 minus 4x okay now here is the last question uh, one third of the size of the original area okay area they had not given us so we gonna assume that as a, a alright so one third of the size of the area so the size of the area is a and one third of it okay so one third of the area all right this is how you can generalize all right so uh, this is how you have to convert uh, the verbal expressions into the algebraic expression and in the future we're going to learn more about this okay we're gonna practice some more examples that will increase your knowledge because uh, at the beginning level of algebra uh, you have to really do a lot of practice so I'm gonna make some more videos on this all right this has to been the ex uh, to the, uh, to uh, multiplied the to itself okay. expression if variables. I have 2 Let's to the, the third thing, power writing something okay. like this then it means plus x the base 2 minus 5 multiplied so by itself as a factor uh, x and three times okay you know, so 